Ty Campbell with Teakin Racing, and in this Teakin Clinic video, we're gonna cover the setting RPM brake. Now, what does RPM brake do? How do we adjust it, and how do we actually use it on the track? Let's check it out. So what does RPM brake actually do? It's actually pretty simple. RPM brake, I like to call them my slow speed or infield brakes. So you've got two different types of brakes that you're setting. Your actual brake strength is going to be the maximum amount of brake. So you wanna set that for your car being in a high speed area of the track, like coming off the straightaway into a sweeper or coming into a real sharp corner. RPM brake lets you set the slow speed brakes. So if your car is really good coming off the straightaway, but doesn't quite have enough braking strength on the infield, or like if you're staging up on the grid, you can increase the RPM brake setting and that increases your infield brake strength. The adjustment range for RPM brake on Tekken ESCs is available in 10 steps. You have zero being off and then all the way up to 10 being the strongest. So if your car feels like the brakes are really soft in the infield or you're trying to stage on the grid and you blow past the mark, turn RPM brake up that's gonna give you stronger infield and slow speed braking because the ESC is actively monitoring motor RPM and adjusting the brake strength accordingly. We can only adjust RPM brake through the hot wire. So let's go plug into our PC and our hot wire real quick and check out RPM brake. With the ESC plugged into the hot wire, we now have access to our dashboard and all the settings. RPM brake is located on the brake tab and it is the setting on the far right side of the window right here. You can see that the default is two, so we already have a little bit of RPM brake going on as a default in all of our controllers. And this is where you can adjust how strong you want that RPM or slow speed brake power to be. You can go all the way up to 10, which is the most aggressive, or you can go all the way down to zero and turn it off. So once you have a setting that you wanna try, make sure you hit apply settings and then okay to write them to the ESC. 